This is just a reminder for men that scientists have now discovered a way for women to impregnate themselves using their own bone marrow. And the only child that can result from those pregnancies are female. So we no longer have any need for you genetically or physically. So, you know, tread lightly. trying to convince everybody that we no longer need men but obviously guys i'm sure if you're aware the entire infrastructure of this entire planet is pretty much run by men men are very vital men and in this modern day and age it's kind of hard to feel like we have a place you know like modern men don't really know what to do what traditions to follow or anything like this so they start following these modern new beliefs and they start to lose touch with who they really are they start to lose touch with their true masculinity so in today's video, guys, we'll be talking about how you can embrace tradition and get rid of these modern views. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. What's up, gentlemen? My name is Austin Wayne. If you're new to this channel, man, please hit that subscribe button. I'm building an awesome community on this channel. Also, guys, follow me on my Instagram at Austin Wayne Official. I post really sick content on that platform as well. Let's go. Reject Tinder, hookup culture, and porn and instead embrace true love with a very feminine and loving woman so obviously guys one of the biggest lies we have been told in this modern day and age is that true love is with how many women you can sleep with true love is how many videos you can jerk off to but guys we need to reject this this is disgusting and overall it's going to be righteously throwing us off of our soul path so we need to reject this man and completely embrace Finding true love. And now, this isn't something that we really need to be seeking. This isn't something that we're chasing after in this world. This is something that as we're fulfilling our soul's purpose, we're walking our path, we'll eventually find a good woman, someone that you can cultivate that healthy relationship. But if you're stuck into that hookup culture, you cannot go on more than two dates with a woman without having to sleep with her. Or you're just so addicted to the videos where you can't even form a proper bond, a proper connection with someone then it's going to be very difficult to ever find this true love. So this is going to be the first step, guys, to embracing traditional masculinity. Reject new age spirituality and embrace your father's religion. Now guys, this was actually quite difficult for me to even say just because I was running away from my father's religion pretty much my entire life, man. I never wanted to embrace it. And I always wanted to be spiritual, you know, but the thing is they can go together. But I feel like to really be spiritual, to really be in touch with God, you need a solid foundation of religion. Now, no matter what your religious beliefs are, it really doesn't matter. I believe the most important thing is having that stable philosophy to pretty much live your life. It's a set of rules. It's a set of morals so that you don't go around life doing stupid things. You know, like in the end, I feel like somebody who follows religion will end up living a life of much more fulfillment, much more happiness and purpose than somebody who is just always on their fuck shit, someone who's always going out, someone who's always hooking up with people, they have no morals, anything like this. So this is going to be my biggest thing with religion, man, is it gives you that set of morals to live a purposeful life. Reject trigger culture and embrace other people's views. So guys, obviously this is a big one, but this modern day society thinks that with anybody who has opposing views means that they are the enemy. But guys, traditional masculinity is someone has a different view from you. You look at their perspective, you look at their point of view, because essentially anyone who's different, anyone who believes different things, if you were in their exact same shoes, you would probably actually have very similar beliefs. So stop being so judgmental, stop hating, stop canceling these people who don't believe the exact same things as you and start to embrace that traditional masculinity where you can actually learn something from other people because you keep an open mind and an open heart to what other people believe in their lives. Reject a soy boy diet and embrace food that's going to bring you life and energy and boost your testosterone. So guys, obviously we have been told for maybe the past 20, 30 years that eggs are bad, red meat is bad, meat is bad. I mean, guys, they're literally trying to get people eating bugs now for protein, saying that the meat industry is bad for the planet, all these different things, when lots of scientific studies prove otherwise. So if you want to embrace traditional masculinity, guys, we need saturated fats. We need cholesterol that's so going to help produce healthy testosterone flowing throughout the body. You need free-range eggs, raw milk, grass-fed beef. 
You need all the essentials to actually building your body up. So guys, reject this soy boy diet where you are not even eating real foods. It's all processed, it's all soy, it's all crap. And that's why everyone has such low testosterone these days. So eat food that's actually going to fuel you. Reject being an NPC and embrace, man, becoming a, the main character of your own game. Most people go through life, they work their nine to fives, they do the exact same thing day in, day out. This is the modern world. Now, if you want to embrace more masculinity, more tradition, I would actually suggest becoming your own man, you know, like becoming independent, maybe start a business, whatever it is, man, creating control and independence over your entire life rather than just following exactly what everybody else is doing, where you go to school and just listen to everybody. So instead of being a corporate slave where you listen to what everyone is telling you to do, you take your own path, your own path of courage and your own path where it's actually gonna be much more difficult, but it's going to be much more fulfilling in the end. Reject embracing your feminine side and becoming all emotional and embrace stoicism so guys this is a big one and a lot of people say that this is actually a toxic masculinity trait but here's the deal Leo. now stoicism is not hiding your emotions it's not not embracing your emotions what it is is it's feeding your emotions like you listen to your emotions you are in touch with your emotions but you do not let it impact your life now these modern day men they say oh you need to be in touch with your feminine side even if being in touch with your feminine side being in touch with your emotions interferes with your goals even if you say oh i'm too depressed to work today no 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 stoicism says i feel the depression i feel the sadness but the grind does not stop i need to actually stay focused and keep moving forward no matter how i feel so you need to embrace stoicism in order to embrace traditional masculinity reject simping and embrace a life full of purpose now guys so many men that go around they give all these women who are disrespecting themselves on OnlyFans, Instagram, all this attention, all this energy. And this is what is known as simping. I mean, like you guys are commenting on all these girls' social media posts and just putting them up on this pedestal when they do not deserve it, man. Because at the end of the day, they do not even respect themselves. So stop doing that and instead have respect for yourself. Have respect for your purpose. Don't even be focused on these promiscuous women, man. Don't give them an ounce of your energy. Instead, be focused on your purpose. Be focused on finding an actual real life partner, someone who you have mutual respect for, someone who has respect for themselves so you guys can kick ass in life together. If anybody watching this, man, happens to need help with your fitness goals, my name is Austin Wayne, CEO of Kalo Seek Fitness. This is my personal physique. I've been working on this physique for nearly a decade, man, and I'm very proud of it. So if you want help building a physique similar to this, guys, hit the link in the description box for a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. Now, guys, I've also helped hundreds of my personal one-on-one -on -one clients achieve physiques just like this, of uh, male models, Greek gods, fitness models. So if you want to be next, man, hit that link in the description box for that free consultation. Once again, guys, if you're new to this channel, please just smash the subscribe button and building an awesome community on this channel. Also, guys, be sure to like this video to push this video out into that YouTube algorithm. That is it. I'm done. I love you guys. Peace.